All right, so one more loop um, in the end of your line. If you're using uh, what's kind of our standard uh, loop, the uh, bowline, and you just tie a bowline here real quick. If you're to look at your, your bowline, you'll see that uh, in the line of pull from your standing end that you're pulling, that your bowline tends to be a little, a little lopsided when it's tied. It's a little bit off to the, uh, kind of off the, to the side of your your stand your um, standing end, which is fine. I mean, once the loop is loaded, it kind of pulls in line and it unties easily. But if lining, uh, staying in the line of pull of your standing uh, line, uh, standing portion of your line is an important thing. Uh, depending on your application, you can tie what's called an angler's loop. Okay. So there's a couple ways to tie an angler's loop. Okay. I can get um, uh, an overhand loop, sorry, an underhand loop. So I'm going to go behind my standing end. Go behind my standing end. So I got an overhand loop. And then I'm going to make another loop with the, the working end going behind. Okay. So they're kind of stacked. I had the one loop and then I went around again and I make another underhand loop. And this time I'm going to take the free end and I'm going to lay it between those two loops. Okay, so it's perpendicular to my standing end. I laid it between the two loops. So I've got an overhand loop, uh, underhand loop on top, an underhand loop that I started with, and the working end lying perpendicular between those two loops. Now I take the top loop and I stuff it through that bottom loop and then I start to pull down on my standing end until this knot dresses itself up and then I've got the angler's loop so you know you've tied it right when sticking off at a right angle perpendicular to your standing end is that little tag or uh, working end that's left and the loop the line of pull is directly in line with your standing end so it's a nice even loop okay so that's the angler's loop another way to tie that it comes undone pretty easily just fold that bend down so uh, there's a couple other ways you can tie the um, angler's loop. I'll show you that other, the, the first one again. Make an underhand loop, cross over and make a second underhand loop. Come from behind the standing end, cross between my two loops, tuck the top or second loop through the first loop, pull down the standing end, and I've got my angler's loop tied. Okay. To untie, I fold the loop down and push through that top end. Another way to tie this is to tie uh, an overhand knot. Okay. Get an overhand knot. Okay. Just a standard overhand knot. Now, uh, I've got this so that my working end is passing down through the overhand knot. I'm going to come back up through that overhand knot, leaving the loop that I want. I'm going to go behind my standing end. And then I'm going to tuck the working end between the two limbs of the loop that are stuck through that overhand original. Now just sort of tuck that end back there. Okay. Hold the whole thing, pull my standing end down, pull on the loop, dress that knot up, and I've got the angler's loop uh, once again. Okay. So I'll show you that one one more time. Okay. So I want to tie an angler's loop I give myself an overhand knot, okay. and then what I do, I'll open that up a little bit so you can see it. What I do is I turn my overhand knot so that it, the, the bow is facing away from me. I bring my working end back through the knot so they have two limbs of that loop that are passing through the overhand knot from below. I go behind my standing end, and then I'm going to lift up those two limbs of that loop and tuck that working end under there and across so it'll end up running perpendicular to my standing end of my line hold the loop hold the standing end dress that knot up give it a little yank and then once again I've got my anglers loop and you can tell that you've done it because my working end is off on a little right angle to my standing end I've got an inline loop I've got that little bend across here and if you look on the back you get this little tricorn uh, wrap in the back. That's the angler's loop. That's a great loop to use when you want to have the line of pull uh, right down the center of your loop.